Kelsey Smollett oh, has been found guilty on five out of uh, six counts of disorderly conduct. He was found guilty of telling a police officer he was a, a hate crime victim, telling an officer he was a battery victim, telling a detective he was a hate crime victim, telling a detective he was a battery victim, and telling a second detective he was a battery victim. Now, he was not found guilty on a sixth charge of telling a second uh, detective he was uh, an aggravated battery victim now what do you think about this verdict do you think the uh, and do you think future racist and homophobic hate crimes may not be taken as seriously because of this justice Millette case what do y'all think i mean it definitely is going to make people look twice at these types of things especially when they come from a celebrity you know it really sucks right because all things constant the justice system worked the way it was supposed to work and he was charged accordingly and found guilty accordingly. It just sucks because I almost feel guilty being a black person, being in support of the charges that he has been charged with, knowing that people of other persuasions get away with far more. So it's a very conflicting feeling that I have because it's like, yeah, you did it, you deserve it and you got it. But on the flip side of things, like look at like a Kyle Rittenhouse, you know? So I don't know, I don't, as a black person, I don't know how to feel in this situation. Good points. Al, what's your take on this? You know, Claudia, I, I fought, I battled with this last night. I just, I just, it just set in my soul just so, I mean, I was calling friends. I need somebody to explain this to me. Let me tell you, this to me was heartbreaking. It was disappointing. It was infuriating. It was embarrassing. And I understand that white people get away with stuff all the time. But for me, I'm embarrassed for the Sm- Smollett family, like especially his sister Journey. She's been at the top of her game. You know, she's got the Oscar nods, the Emmy nods. And then we see her arm in arm with Jesse in the courtroom looking like they're going on a Selma civil rights walk. It was just like crazy to me. I'm embarrassed for us as black people to have to listen to Donald Trump Jr. throw daggers at us. I'm you know, not only the black people, but the Black Lives Matter movement of supporters and the LGBTQ community like he played all of us, just as I said, you know, in the city of Chicago is making him pay for. It. But lastly, this is what really pissed me off the most and what disappointed me the most and which was heartbreaking. The real victims of hate crime and racism and political violence like they're almost you know, sacrifice. Do you know how many young black men can't go outside today without being accused or labeled as a thief, as a murderer or as a thug? This type of stuff is just a slap in the face to all of us. And it just pisses me off. Somebody needs to take him aside and just shake the shit out of him, shake him or beat his you know what, because this is just bad for no freaking reason it's bad it's just extremely self-serving to me and borderline gross i hate that when one of our fellow african americans does something wrong we all have to take that on the chin right right? it's a representation of black people but when white folks do stuff they don't claim their trailer park stuff their shenanigans they don't claim their their their, the worst of their worst it doesn't it's not a reflection on their entire race it's just like oh that's just them and we don't i'm not claiming that I would never do something like this. And I really was trying to ride for Jesse. I really was. I remember right. I made a video when it first came out. I had to snatch that thing down. The more evidence that came out, I was like, well, God damn, Jesse. So uh, <laughs> it, it is sad because I do hate when we, uh, can we just like all behave for a little while? Because the fact that Trump and Trump Jr. are just so, like you said, they're so quick to jump on it. And we got to just take that L and be like, yeah, mm-hmm. you were right. Yeah. Like you see what he did to um, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Al Sharpton, when he pulled up all his tweets, Mm -mm. Uh, Trump Jr., you know, because Al Sharpton said whoever offend you, whoever did this to Jesse should have the maximums uh, thrown at him. And he was like, oh, I hope you still have the same conviction now that we know who the real perpetrator is. Like I stuff mean, like that and, just and gets under my skin. You can't say nothing. You, right. you, you just got to take that L. 
Well, Trump Jr. has his nerve because all this, the, the daggers he's thrown at Hunter Biden for being a supposed drug addict when we don't seen Don Jr., who allegedly seemed like he's off on that good stuff, his damn self, looking very tore up. So there's a lot of hypocrisy <laughs> going on. I, I don't care what nobody that's missing no chromosome got to say anyway. So Don Jr. <laughs> can just go on and, and sit down somewhere. Mm-hmm.